What are my top five characters from the Marvel Universe that I'd love to see come into this game? And yes, indeedy, we are doing one of these particular videos. Why we do these videos, Rich? Well, it's really interesting. Actually, funny enough, it was something that came up in a live stream last week about uh, what were my five most wanted characters to come into Marvel Contest Champions. And I looked over a vid that I made back in 2019. This is the video in particular called Rich Man's 10 Most Wanted Champions. And really weird like as soon as I started this I thought okay wait one moment and yeah what you see on screen is not any kind of like joke or it's kind of like yes seven of the ten characters that I had in this list have actually come into Marvel Contest of Champions so the game the, the champs in game at the moment are uh, Apocalypse, Professor X, Odin, Captain Britain Sort of. I was on about the Brian Braddock version. Uh, Nova, Quicksilver, and Misty Knight. And there were some other champions I did mention and I've mentioned over the years, but I thought I'd go back to at least one where it felt like I was doing a top 10. This was something that kind of felt very personal to me and the reasons behind it. And that's what I wanted to do in this particular video. But instead of doing 10, I'm going to do 5 because some still remain from that list that have not gone into the game. One, I think I've decided to remove from it, but we're definitely up to five. Five. And these particular five are either important to me or they have things that can stretch the kind of delivery from an art and animation standpoint that Kabam can put out. Which, look, the Kabam have got a lot better with kind of like uh, doing the uh, initiative and inspiration and ingenuity and using new tech to create some really decent animations. Just everything else that seemed a bit problematic. But the champion designs are, are absolutely amazing, especially from an animation and visual sense. The first character I've got within my top five is Legion. Legion is one of the most powerful mutants out there, having a multitude of different personalities that have their own type of power system to them. It will be an incredible challenge for Kabam to actually put this, put this champion into game, especially because like you literally have to give him everything. I got to be honest, I think that Legion would make a great boss because you never would know what personality the champion would switch to, but therein lies the problem because there's so much of a challenge. So yeah, I, I would love it, but I think that would be incredibly difficult to kind of go, oh yeah, you know, one day he's got one personality, he's got another. Like one personality would be um you know, he's got the power of uh, electrical discharge. Oh, the next thing is a, a pirate that appears to belch an acid gas. And, and the next personality, he's a centaur because, bah, Legion. So as I said, a very, very difficult champion to bring. As I said, a great character. Like I love the fact the dynamic of what you could have with being the son of Professor X, but a very, very difficult challenge to bring in. But uh, we just love the spiky hair because it's massive as well. Next character on the list is Beta Ray Bill. This probably has one of the best chances to come into Marvel Contest of Champions. As he was part of the Summoner's Choice back in 2021, uh, but lost out obviously to Quicksilver. However though, where we've seen Omega Sentinel follow at a later date from the Hercules vote, it does mean that that gives a better kind of like idea that we could see him down the line. And it makes sense to kind of factor into things like, right, well, he goes good, good as a nice guardian, and we need to expand the Asgardian line. And depending on the narrative of him being brought, brought in, he could have things like, uh, because of his uh, cyborg body, if they go down that route with that particular story, he could indeed be, well, uh, potentially hashtag metal, so he got some interaction there with Magneto, uh, but also have like a load of kind of immunities to disease, so it could be a case of bleed immune, poison immune, it could be other things, like it could be have like a, a wide range of immunities based on the power of Stormbreaker, maybe even more than that than you think, but in any case, with a little bit of regen as well, it could be a really powerful cosmic champion but would they make him tech that would be something of a little bit of a debate and a, a bit more in the future if the champion comes into game next up is forge now it comes at a really weird time because i think as a kid i was watching x-men animated series and as well in the evenings watching uh, star trek next generation so forge and geordie laforge engineers engineering it comes together in a nice little kind of like uh, everything that links in so it was a cool time I was really taken by the fact that this uh, particular character had these kind of mechanical uh, and also kind of genius level skills to him. Even though Forge doesn't possess any kind of great powers, he was just a cool character. I guess it's argued that the character does have some powers. 
However, though, it's not something that's like overly seen as like a, a big thing for the character because it's all about this intuitive genius based on the fact that he could create things of mechanical nature, whether or not it was having the ability to send some of the X-Men back through time, whether or not it was other types of elements of creating these fantastic helpful like weapons or tools that would just like help out uh, humanity and mutant humanity uh that it was just like it was just really cool to have this character the point that coming i'm coming to is like what kabam could do if kabam were kind of like creating this character they may go down the route of having things when it comes to the leg the leg is a cybernetic leg and that is one that has uh, some kind of like various kind of tools parts weaponry within it so that's cool so that could be like some something again that kind of like could be put there if there was something that taps into his shame and powers with astral form again that's something that could be quite cool but i really like the idea of being able the character being able to tap into different tech so say for example you've got yourself like a warlock warlock has this kind of thing where he can like transform into stuff i'm not saying that i would like for to transform into things but in different specials he'll basically call on different types of mechanical things whether or not it's weapons whether or not it could be like we saw in the image at the start that was cohen uh, bark or armoring in order to kind of like fire on people and there's so many opportunities as well to create things like uh, a decoy and that was one thing like uh, using a projector projection of like a fake version which may be able to kind of like you know you skip out like a striker uh, and that that kind of like uh, other version that fake version of forge take some damage before you then come back in at full health like a like a really kind of like yeah like, like a life model decoy type thing that's taking some damage but you then come back in as i said the motion similar to a striker but yeah i definitely would love to see forge come into marvel contest of champions at some stage and we spoke about legion and look you know beta ray bill is powerful but extensive power i'm talking like stuff that could rival thanos or just wielding things like the infinity gauntlet You've got yourself Adam Warlock. Definitely a character that needs to come in Marvel Contest. And I think it will. But it's a case of like how powerful they make him. Or how least powerful they make him. Especially because we've had Galen in MCOC. This gives me the impression that if Kaban put this champion in. It would make more sense as a boss. I don't like that. I, I like the idea of actually being able to use him. And him being on some kind of whole new power scale. But again this kind of goes into being in balance. Being OP and Kaban nerfing him. But you know we have Hercules. Uh, look. I'll get to the point here. Cosmic Awareness, Mystic Senses. So this is something that could be quite interesting to explore as to whether or not a Cosmic Champion like this could be a counter to Mystic Champions. The same way that Odin was a bit of a letdown because in his kind of power and makeup, he is meant to be able to understand what mystical powers that are out there and kind of be able to be like, look, I can be a Mystic Counter. This is why I hope that Kabam actually come through with making Adam Warlock a counter to Mystic based champion especially having these kind of like length of like mystical sense in addition to his cosmic awareness capabilities a sensing mishaps on a spiritual level such as irregularities and, I, and i'm not saying that, that that necessarily condones him being a mystic uh kind of counter but it would be quite cool to have a class disadvantage mystic counter the same way that look magneto is a as a tech counter because a lot of the tech line are hashtag metal based champions but in any case the champion has a, the character has a lot of stuff um that uh, you know of this kind of like benefit to him he's got things like energy manipulation matter manipula manipulation magic uh when you resurrections time travel quantum magic and it's like soul manipulation spell casting uh chronokinesis cosmic power pyrokinesis so I'm I'm sensing like a huge amount of things that he can be immune to, as well as all the other stuff. Like there's so many other things to this character, from summoning right the way through to I think it was like uh, energy, like stuff he could do with energy. So it's like there's so many things this character can do. Energy consumption, that's it. So there's so many levels of interaction he can do. Um, even here, at one point, Adam has been shown to have the ability of absorbing the energy of minor attacks sent by Galactus, seemingly un unharmed by it. Like, look, we're talking about like a top level count here to a lot of situations. The same way that Bishop interacts with energy consumption, or kind of like punishing those that do it, powering himself up to then expel it. Look, 
lots of things here uh, that uh, this this character can have. But as I said, my concern is that Caban would make it a uh, a character that would be uh, a boss champion. But as I said, look, look, you know, you've got Hercules in game, and the amount of time you kind of look at that and go like, well, that's a bit of it's a bit of a powerful champion, it's a bit OP. So look, if Caban put it in once. I'm sure they could put it in again and do the character justice. Um, so yeah, we'll have to see how the future holds. And the final character of the top five is it's going to be Mystique. Okay, so Mystique for me is a character that will challenge Kabam in creating something that is going to be good and going to be fun and have that interaction we know for the character. Is it a case that this character will be a complete like god tier? Not necessarily. Will it be kind of like a skill meet mutant type character with some sort of uh, transformation? Yes, that would ideally be the thing we want to see. I mean, look, there's some hope for this character with a question popped up in a thread recently in response to, you know, would we get the character and how it would be done? And Kabam Mike had to respond back uh, and just basically state the obvious I think a lot of us know. Uh, this is where it gets tricky because Mystique can't copy powers or change her physiology to be Kree or robot. Her class changing doesn't really make sense either since she's always a mutant, talking about gym changing classes and stuff like that. That said, I really want her to appear as a different champion at, on the quest board, uh, which, yeah, is absolutely tricky. There's no kind of like easy way of developing it. I think there was a further thing of talking about the idea of like, okay, rather than it being able to copy move sets, which she wouldn't technically do, she would be able to kind of go, okay, well, uh, I don't know, at certain points, you know, you build up a certain type of combo length, a, uh, a meter to the top left hand corner of your screen. And then what she'll do is she'll kind of like switch and, and kind of turn into the opposing character she's facing off against, like facing off against a Wolverine switches to a wolverine fighting a hercules then at a certain point she goes right she looks like hercules she doesn't copy the move sets but it's basically a, an extra uh, layer of texture i think kaban refer that to when they were kind of like asked the question about how they would do that within it and the thing is you would ask the question is it possible well you look at things like strikers strikers makes things possible from the point of like adding in a uh, another champion coming in, but a champion had to go off the screen. The same way would would you kind of go like um, Mystique changes um, and it's kind of like then the character kind of like goes out. Or maybe she does a special attack and it allows you to, um, I don't know, for the length of the fight, kind of sh swift out. So it means that a case like it's not live, it, it works you on screen, but it's kind of like as soon as the animation's done, the champion swaps, uh, or not swaps, Mystique would kind of then replicate the look the texture of the opposing champion very difficult to do also it's just funny re reading like i want to get to like the abilities for the character in a second but it was funny reading romantic relationships uh destiny married wolverine serious relationship christian uh wagner married azazel one night stand uh saber serious relationship both as lenny zauba and as mystique Forge, serious relationship. Just mentioned Forge, funny enough. Senator Ralph Brickman, married as Mallory Brickman. Shepard, one kiss. Phantom X, off and on casual relationship. Iceman, serious relationship. That must be very... You might get freezer burn with that. you got to be very careful. Dakin, brief relationship. That's Wolverine's son. And Ed, that is so weird. Just from an ability standpoint that interests me, a little bit of uh, accelerated healing. Great. Hey, that's fantastic. We need that more in MCSC, especially with the mutant line. Toxin and disease resistance. Imagine being, you know, uh, poison immune with this one. Love it. That's pretty cool. And uh, psychic defense. Nature also provides her with nature's de na natural defense against telepathic intrusion. Reverse controls immune? I'll take that all day long. Uh, but as well, you know, she'd be a bit more of a tactician and kind of like more like a skill based in kind of movements. Uh, so yeah, I, I, I'd be all up for this character. It's just how Kabam look to get those particular shape shifting abilities, which is a bit of a problem to do that right. And if that's the case, that gives other hope to other characters that shape shift. Uh, one of my uh, other favorites is Morph, but I kind of feel like if Mystique's added in, it may be a long time since we see a character like Morph. In any case, that is it. That has been me top five. And I indeed wonder to myself, like, how long is it going to be before some of these characters of those top five actually come into game? And as I said, the reason behind a lot of them is that it challenges Kabam in how they create them because they will require a lot of specific either tech 
or as well some kind of like ingenuity of how they're going to bring them in, not just from a visual standpoint, but also from an ability standpoint. So that's why I like those five because it challenges like how Kabam can do it. Maybe not so much for like Beta Ray Bill, but the others for sure. A lot of technical elements have to be put in and a lot of well thought champion design has to be put in as well. What is your top five personal to you that you feel is going to be good for the future of the game? Whether or not it's Kabam challenging stuff or you know you like a character and resonate with it. Thoughts on that in the comment section down below. Make sure as well to check out some other content which is located on screen right now and I'll see you in the next video and the live stream. Cheers everybody. Bye bye.